Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the first episode of Rebuilding Barcelona Football Manager 22. In today's episode, we look at obviously setting up the game, putting in some foundations for our team. We try and offload some dead wood in our club to balance our books. Do we manage to make any signings, strengthen our squad, or do we end up using our youth prospects? We played some games off camera. But we do have reactions of our first Champions League game against Atlanta. And also for the last game we played, it didn't go quite to plan. As you will know, Barcelona are going through a financial ruin at the moment. In their bank on Football Manager, we start off with minus 28 million and a debt nearly 900 million pounds. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. We have a lot of work to do. Am I the right man for the job? Well, let's go and find out. This is our standard setup. I tend to do this all the time. Obviously, the English league would be above. So what we've got here is for Spanish second division and above, Skybet Championship and above, League 2 and above, Bundesliga 2 and above, Italian Serie B and above. That is pretty much my standard. Large database that gives me an estimated game speed of 4 Prevent use of game uh, in-game editor, just so that you guys know that I'm not going to cheat. And do not add any key staff. All right, let's start the game. Let it load, let it load. I'm going to win the league. Am I, am I really going to win the league? As I always do, I'm going to use my same manager profile as I did in my Chef Wednesday game. If you haven't seen it, go check it out in... Up there somewhere. And what I'm going to do is just uh, suggest badge based on Barcelona and experience based on Barcelona and keep my core. It's just going to expand out. I'm not going to do anything different there. Yes, you could argue you should be going in there with zero Sunday league, but you know what? I haven't done it. I haven't played it enough to probably drop down once I've played a couple of saves, won a few trophies, learnt from mechanics or, and for gameplay, will then drop down and go non league. Probably do a non league save at some point. So Barcelona have today confirmed for appointment of Duper Daddy as the club's new manager. I got all those trophies. Lovely. Let's carry on it. Come on. I haven't won anything for a while. This is my team. Transfer obligations. Oh, we got Luke de Jong. Okay. Uh, Griezmann's on loan. Out on loan to Athletic Madrid. That's a shame. Okay. So play attacking football. Play possession football. Entertaining football. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I want to bring back to Barcelona. Uh, end of current season, challenge for first division, which first knockout round of Champions League. Okay, I think that's doable. Uh, inductions, we can skip this. So for usual spill on my news, let's skip past all this. Uh, last year of contract, so we've got Dembele, Sergi Roberto, Alves and some youngsters. Hmm. Alves has already signed his extension clause. Sergio Roberto, uh, no reasons to extend. And then ballet. Guess it all depends. A, hey, what well, I can look at those wages 165k to 175k. Well, I like them ballet. And plus, he's 24, he's got injury concerns. But uh, Sergio Roberto, he's nearly 30, and on that wage, his ability and potential probably already got players like that already. But we'll have a look. Reasons in preparation, we're going to use a YouTuber's training schedule and see how that plays out. So we'll make tweaks as we go along and learn more about it. It was a good video. I will leave a link in um, our description. This is a difference of the squad selection rules. Look, max 3.1 million compared to like Premiership. Uh, this is which is really screwing up Barcelona at the moment. So we are now made to make a monthly repayment of 2.6 million towards our 509 million debt. Squad dynamics are good. So this is our transfer history. Obviously, I haven't brought in anyone, but I have sold a couple of players. So I've sold Sergi Roberto to Tottenham, 14 million, Martin Braithwaite, and we've got Red Langley, 30 million to Newcastle as well. As you can see, our financial aspect are already looking better we've got 43 and a half million pounds in our bank and our debt is just crazy it's going to take a long time to get rid of this debt but 
uh, if we look at projection, it might not, it might be quicker if we play it really carefully. Look at that projection. We carry on doing what we're doing. 335 million. I want to be making loads of money, but we need to be competitive. The uh, expectation is for us to win. End of the day, I'm not for chairman. I'm not for owner. I'm not about for money, but I know that if I want to buy for best players in the world, I'm going to have to have money. And I'm going to generate for best youth players as I can. We'll do some willings and dealings, but now and again, you will want to spend that 100, 150 million on a world-class player, get him in to go win those trophies. But we need to do it in the right way. So a quick update of where we are at. Um, I haven't got any gameplay. The only gameplay I had of me of a reaction was my last game against Atletico Pamplona. Uh, I played my B team. We, we was away. We got for win. Uh, we are unbeaten after four games in first division and now we're going to play our first champions league game which i'm going to show some live reactions to that game but before we do i'm just quickly take you through the games so testimonial that was interesting because basquets didn't even play because he was unavailable i think he was on holiday the majority of my team was on holiday so therefore i had to play some random plays i think for only uh, i mean we got messy cut come back to Barcelona for that game he was on holiday so he couldn't even play the only player who did join us was Pedro nil nil against Benfica and then we played against Paris and Germain and we still had some players on holiday but some started coming back we lost one nil away not bad right not bad in a friendly and then again 2-1 again more players was coming back building up fitness we lost 2-1 away against Bayern Munich and then I think we still fielded a yeah we fielded our pretty much a B team against uh, Herva Berlin and we won 4-0 away then we went first game of the season against Seville Sevilla I can't say Sevilla but that's wrong Sevilla away 2-0 that was a great result I was so happy with that Baldi and Puig um got for goals there you're probably thinking who's Baldi and Puig they are young players coming through 22 years old is Puig. Baldi is 18 years old who's obviously played Barcelona B team last season and I've uh, been giving him a little bit of chance I mean Dembele's injured at a moment and Coutinho was out injured just using youth and to be fair their youth is not that bad I did want to sell more players I did want to sell Coutinho I did want to sell Neto uh, I want to sell Samuel um titty as well but obviously we sold langley who i didn't actually want to sell originally but i've got a player to fill his spot um titty's on 275k and he's not even that good sitting on my bench 300k sitting on my bench rubbish first home game against uh volcano uh volcano again my pronunciation is going to be bad and frank de jong for the de jongs uh get their goals there we drew against espanol we was winning till the 70th minute. Uh, we was away, so I'd be like, mm, it's a derby game. Ideally, we should have won it, but it is what it is. And then we played our, I think we played our A team, yeah. And then we played our B team away game and we got for 1-0 win. Again, Luke De Jong getting a goal there. I think he's now scored two for us. Yes, that's correct. And as I said before, we're going to get, uh, jump in with some live reaction of our Atlanta game. So, 10 changes from last match. Let's go. I was going to say, can I see any replays today? Oh, Pedri. Not holding possession, which is strange, considering that's the way I want to play. But we're having for shots. We're at home. We should be holding that possession. Ah. Uh, yeah, not holding a possession is not, not a good sign. Okay, I'll have to look at that. Yeah, they got 55% of possession. We was getting into a game, look. XG was getting up and they scored. Okay, a bit of reality. Typical first game I've decided to do a um, live reaction on this save. I'm losing at half time. Eh, fair enough. Who's not playing well? That Ronald Arroyo. First thing is, um, he's my replacement for Langley. Sustagan's got 6.3. Jeez. Right, let's look at this because something doesn't feel right. Playing a high tempo, much shorter, overlap, play out defense. Been working for us. I haven't had to change anything. Uh, be more expressive. I think the only thing I got rid of was dribble less because I was thinking let's not dribble that much and pass it. 
And that works well. Attacking width. We need to play more narrow to try and hold possession. Would that work? Uh, maybe again, narrow and compact. Would that help us? Let's just make those two tweaks. Yes, we are for it. Come on. That was a poor first half. Had for chances. Just not holding the ball good enough. So yeah, Memphis. How about oh, my main threat? Feels like it's Dijon by getting but whip balling. Cleared off line by Alba. Go on, counter attack, continue. What can you do? And nothing. Ah, oh, running through my defense. No. What is my defense doing? All right, we need to play a bit, a bit more tougher football here. Use tighter marking. Drop down. Try and obtain that possession a bit better because I think that's where we're losing out on. We can get a bit more possession. We'll create more. Play positive. Make some changes. PK, you're playing awful. Is it because you're on the wrong way? But change attack there. Continue. I'm going to bring on Fatty. I bring on Baldi there. Let's put the pay up front. Baldi there. Switch them. Last 10 minutes, I will have to attack. Okay, I've seen enough. After we're at home, it's ridiculous. All out attack. Dest has got an injury. Thing is, if we get equalizer, do I put my formation back? Probably would. So that's what we're looking for is to get that goal back. Yes. To pay up front. There you go. But so those tweaks have worked. Or do we try and keep momentum and push? Can we push? Can we get that goal? Can we get for win? Bit of a risk. Nearly finished now. It's all over. Still unbeaten. A lot of tweaking. Atlanta got 57% of possession. I don't know. Something just doesn't feel all right with my team today. Disappointed. So here's a player who's on 275k a year and he seems like he's always out injured. He's suddenly got, he's torn his ligament after twisting awkwardly during a training session. Is he doing it on purpose? Want him gone. It's like a yearly thing that torn the ligaments, torn his knee's gone. How long is he contracted to us for? <sighs> Two years. Typical football manager game. Where you have 23 shots, 9 on target, XG 2.56, possession 61%, and if other team has 2 shots, 2 on target, and you draw 1 all. Yes, you can argue I played my B team in this game, but I dominated. Why the hell is my team not putting ball in for goal? How can I be pissed off with my team when we dominated for game? What, what you put it down as unlucky? Or do you put it down as for match engine? Football managers always had these weird things that if you dominate, you play your possession game, your attacking, entertaining game, you struggle. You don't end up scoring that many goals. Then you play counter-attacking, defensive, crap, long ball, and you oh, would have won 7-0. Yeah, disappointed. Disappointed, not with my players, but with the game. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe and to be notified, click on the bell.